Hello sim racers and welcome to Rearview Racing. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Radical RXC GT3 car for Assetto Corsa. I'm going to be racing it around Alton Park International in a free lap race. Here we are on the starting grid at Alton Park International waiting for the lights and off we go. A good decent start there I suppose, less wheel spin. Oh we've got brake checked in front already. We're going to go down the inside of these two cars and see if we can make it stick. Out on the curb on the inside, the Red Bull Radical is still there, pushed them out a little bit wide, heading down to uh, Cascades for the first time. Oh, cut the curb there, just lost the back end, and we're going to cut him off a little bit. Perfect, All right, position gained. So, this is the Radical RXC GT3 car for Assetto Corsa. Um, this is one of the most satisfying GT3 cars I've driven all this year since 2019 started. It's fantastic as we dive down the inside of this green. Radical and cap the inside curb. It's still there on the outside, but it's now behind us, so that's good. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic drive. It's so it's a feel-good car. It grips really, really well. It sounds fantastic. The steering and the force feedback is absolutely brilliant. It's just one of them cars that I just love lapping in. It's absolutely perfect. Uh, as we head down to the chicane, dive down the inside of this uh, yellow Radical. Cap the inside curb is still there, and it's going to maintain that position. Very tricky to get. Uh, pass to any car through those uh, chicanes, especially with those um, curbs. It can be a little bit uh, dangerous if you clap them too hard. Uh, as we head up to Druid's corner here at Alton Park. Absolutely love this track as well. Fantastic mod. Another definite must-have. Okay, let's take a pause there. Come around to the uh, final corner now drops away a little bit so you've got to be careful on power input and it's very bumpy at the bottom here again keeping control of the car as you go over the uh, start finish line so this uh, mod is available through race department you've got to download the skin first and then in the readme file of the files that you download there is a link to a media file I think it's media fire um, link to the mod that you can download and then obviously install the skin pack uh, it's definitely worthwhile definitely worth your time really fun car to drive and hopefully as you're seeing from the footage um, it's really grippy and I'm having a lot of fun with it. Let's try and get closer to this yellow car. The first sector I'm not as quick, can't seem to get the power down as easy as the AI do. Uh, I'm really quick through here though, I can break much later and get right on the back now with this um, yellow radical again. I'm going to try and dive down the inside if he doesn't close off the move, try and break a little bit later and try and force him wide, here we go, cut that curb on the inside, he's still there, give him a bit of space, he's hit the curb actually, what I was talking about earlier on, tried to put us wide, cut that a little bit through the bollard and uh, there we are, we're through, so uh, good little move there, I think I'm going to struggle gonna, trying to get past this other radical that's ahead, just about uh, can see it. Uh, but yeah, definitely worth downloading this mod. I will link it in the description below to the skin pack, as I was saying, through the race department. There's some fantastic mods coming out for Assetto Corsa recently. A, at the moment, it's a very good time to be playing this game and to be part of race department and other websites that uh, you can download mods from. I've recently done a Mini Cooper video. Uh, I'll leave a link of that in the description below as well, so you can take a look at that. That's an absolutely, again, a brilliant mod. Uh, something which uh, is definitely worth checking out. So I'll link that below. So obviously now onto the final lap, I'm going to try and drive as quick as possible, obviously without uh, spilling out or having a an annoying crash. Fantastic uh, detail in the cockpit, I will add as well. Really cool digital dial in the middle there as well. Fantastic um, detail on the steering wheel. Uh, lots of skins as well, obviously it comes with the skin pack. Um, running the Red Bull Blompan skin pack on this car. I think we passed it earlier on. Uh, yeah, I think it's one of the best looking ones. There is a uh, slightly bizarre logoed one in there. Oh, as I hit that curb. Monkey see, monkey do, I suppose. Coming down into the uh, chicane, try and take as much speed as possible. Stay away from those curbs as much as possible, even though I'm going, for, going through them. Um, I don't think we're going to get we're going to get this guy. So I think that we're in tenth at the moment. So I think tenth is going to be our uh, final position. 
I'm trying to do as much videos as possible. I've got a little bit of a busy life, so I'm trying to get as much done as, done as possible with the channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already to uh, hear from the latest and greatest from all over the sim community and check out my other videos as well. Um, really means a lot, all the support I get and all the comments starting, the, starting a little community up around this channel will be absolutely fantastic. But as we cross the line in temp, again I'll link the mod in the description. Thank you very much for watching Rearview Racing and I hope to join you next time on the next video. Thank you very much.